going on YouTube? It's your boy Proud to Carry Man. I'm back with another one. And as y'all know, y'all see me recording, so it's hopefully it's good quality. Like I want to get y'all. Hope y'all can hear me good. I got a new camera, so hopefully everything working out good. Don't have to use my phone no more, so that's the good part, man. But what's up, Proud to Carry Gang? If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Like, subscribe, comment. Hit that post notification bell if you like what you see. And I'm going to keep on continuing to try to drop that heat for y'all, man. So, as y'all can tell from the title of the video, this will be my my EDC, everyday carry. You know, what I carry on a daily, whatever like that, man. I got to go ahead and give it to y'all. Got to do it one time. I was going to wait a little later, but I'm going to do more and more EDC updates for y'all. But just my quick little EDC, my everyday carry that I'm going to give y'all real quick. So, uh, yeah. Without further ado, man, let's go ahead and get straight to it, man. I ain't going to talk y'all heads out too much. So, uh, yeah, we're going to start with number one, what I always carry. Keys, man. Gotta have the car keys. <laughs> that's a, you know, that's a no-brainer, man. Gotta have the keys. Don't have nothing special up on here. Like, just my regular house keys and keys that's essential to me every day. My, my, every day. So, I gotta carry every key up on here is important. And then send it to me some way, somehow. All right. Another thing that I keep with me, my phone. Got an iPhone 11 Pro Max. You know what I'm saying? That's the phone I usually do my videos with, but now it's, it's acting crazy. So, had to upgrade, get me a real camera or whatever like that. So, yeah. So, now I can get y'all better content. You know what I'm saying? I got some stuff coming y'all way too, so be ready. But anyway, yeah. This is my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Uh, I also keep the charger with me, which I don't even have a charger with me. Right now it's in my one of my bags, but yeah, no man in the background noise if you hear that's my wife and kids walking around, whatever. But anywho, yeah, so next thing I carry. Now this this depends on what I'm doing at the time. I get my watch, I got two watches. It's an iPhone, I mean the Apple Watch, this is a Series 5, uh with the cellular version or whatever the case may be. That's what that is. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you the purpose why I got both of the watches. Then I got this little L Sport, whatever. Got this little L Sport. As y'all can see, let's see. Uh, I don't know if y'all, if it's gonna focus. Yeah, it's called L Sport. Yeah, it's 10 10 at night. I'm recording the video late, but it is what it is. But little L Sport um, watch that I got. Picked it up from Walmart for probably like $13, $14 a while ago. I don't have no idea. But I use this when I work, you know. At my place of work, so this is what I have on every single day when I go to work. I have this watch on or whatever. Uh, on, and when I'm not at work, I have my Apple Watch on. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm going out somewhere, anything like that, keep my Apple Watch on. I only need that watch to tell time right here. That's it. You know what I mean? But this right here, if my phone go dead, anything like that, I still can communicate with this watch. That's how I set it up. I still can browse the internet, do all that stuff. So Apple Watch. Series 5. Uh, yeah, I actually suggest that people get these smart watches, man. I know a lot of y'all probably not into technology, but you know what I'm saying? Assuming that your phone do go dead and you can still use this, this is important. I mean, you can make phone calls if you got a dial now on one if it's an emergency situation, anything like that. This comes in handy. If you got to call a family, anything, this, these smart watches come in handy. It don't have to be an Apple Watch. If you're an Android person, they got those Galaxy watches up. Uh, Samsung watches, whatever they got, they, that's what they got. So, yeah, y'all can, um, y'all can have those. Um, let's see what else, what else I got for y'all. One second, get my AirPods. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the wife for these. You know what I'm saying? I use these time to time. Don't use them too much, but I use them though. I mean, yeah, I, you know what I'm saying? AirPods. I already know. Um, what else I got for y'all? Oh, another thing I keep. Bam. Yeah, if y'all know what these is, before I tell y'all what it is, drop it in the comment section tell me what y'all think. I right, am gonna tell y'all. These are my keys to my gun safe. And I know some of y'all thinking, why in the hell are you carrying around your keys to your safe? And I'm not talking about a safe in the car either. I'm talking about my safe at home. The reason why? Because if, God forbid, I'm away from home, my wife and kids not at home, nobody's at home, and somebody decided they want to break in. Last thing I want to do, especially if they got enough time to scramble around, find my keys, and take what's in my safe. 
You know what I'm saying? I know some of y'all will say, well, get it safe with a passcode on it. Yeah, I will eventually do that. Um, but not right now. The old safes are kind of expensive. The one I got was kind of expensive as well. And, you know, I'm better off just keeping these with me. I guard these with my life so they don't leave from me or whatever like that. Then if I do happen to lose them and my guns are locked in my safe, I mean, it is what it is. I'm still going to have one available. And I can always get a locksmith to come out for it. I can, trust me, I can get in it. I'm not gonna say how on camera, but I know how to get in my safe, okay? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So I keep these with me. Don't want nobody else getting hold to these. I got two, I don't even, you know, with my wife, she, I would leave one to her, but she don't really care for the stuff like I do, so. There's no point in me even leaving her one of these, but I will leave something available to her if I'm not at home. You know, y'all know what I mean by something available to her. Um, let's see. Before we get to, oh yeah, don't talk about my wallet, but I'm about to show y'all it's kind of big. Uh, keep my wallet. I know it's kind of big, but I got all the stuff I need up in here, all my cards, my IDs, uh, stuff that I need, you know what I mean? Money, all that stuff, I keep it up in here. I had a must then on one, but, which is actually this coach right here. Don't care what y'all say, I like fashion, but anyways, this is coach. Uh, it had like a smaller version that came to it, but it wore out over time and it ripped, so I'm gonna get me a, I'm gonna get me another one because this is kind of bulky and I don't like the way it feel in my pocket. But this is what I got for right now. Keep all my important information up in that I need when I'm out daily carrying, whatever the case may be. Uh, let's see what else I got for you guys. Another thing I got okay, is this little medical kit right here. I know a lot of people sleep on this stuff. They don't carry it, but it has a tourniquet. You know what I'm saying? It has a tourniquet. If you're gonna carry stuff like this, get trained and, and know how to use it or whatever like that. Uh, I myself got like, you know what I'm saying? Not like I'm super experienced training with it. It's not like I use this stuff every day, but I got some experience using this stuff, so I'll be just fine or whatever like that. And I got this from this website right here called My Medic. Uh, I forgot how much I paid for it, but I got this from the website called My Medic. And uh, yeah. I got it for a pretty decent price. And uh, I know y'all probably want to see what's inside here. So I'm gonna show y'all before y'all get to asking that comment section, well, what's coming in it? Well, it comes with this and this. You got a Howard just had it up in there. It comes just like that. Uh, and this pretty much how it comes. You got, you know, stuff that you need in here in case of emergency situation. Oops, I'm not gonna take every single stuff out of there, but. I'm not gonna take every single thing up out of here to show you. Um, if you guys go on their website, if you guys go on the MyMatic website, then you guys can see exactly what all comes. You can you can actually put together your own. Um, you can actually put together your own packages. How you want to do this stuff? Like that's how I got mine. I felt like I got what I felt like what would have been important to me. That's how I got mine laid out and how I uh, got it packed and stuff or whatnot. So yeah, I mean, it come with a lot. You no, know, I guess I can show y'all some other little, little stuff. It come with a lot of good stuff. We got Avil, you want some headache, got a lot of other stuff in there, man. So, you know, rubber gloves they got in here. You know what I'm saying? You got, uh, you got, you know, you got a lot of stuff. But like bug bites, all that stuff. You got lip balm in case somebody, you know, lips are drying out out there. You got some bad. You got, uh, Stuff when you burn yourself, let's see if the camera focus. Yeah, so I mean, it, it got a nice, you know, got a nice amount. Don't mind me looking up, y'all. I got the, the camera screen facing towards me, so I'm trying to make sure the stuff focus right. Uh, yeah, it got a, comes with a lot of good stuff up here, you know. Comes with, you know, something for you. Help you, you know, if you gotta stick something up your nose or, or yeah, to help open up your airways or whatever, you know. So it, it, it got it got a lot of got a lot of nice stuff in here. So like I said, I'm not gonna get all into detail about oh yeah, this is for this. Like if you big on this stuff, then you know what it is. If you're not, you can always like I said, go on a website. Uh, they show you what this stuff is used for, and like I said, you just you pretty much. Make your own package, you know. See, it's another tourniquet kit right here. You guys can see. So, like I say, man came with a man came with two tourniquets. So, 
That's how I order mine. Mm. Like I said, you gotta you gotta be prepared out here, man. So bleed uh, bleed control. So you gotta you gotta you gotta be prepared out here. Uh, can't ever be too prepared or whatever case you be, especially if you're gonna be carrying a firearm. Uh, you never know what can go down. As y'all already know, you don't pick the time and day that trouble comes and picks you. You just gotta be prepared, man. You never know what kind of wounds you'll have, or even if you know you wound somebody else and you wouldn't really, you know. So, I get all, I ain't, I forgot to show y'all that. Oops, let me put this back in here. I got to show y'all this little stuff, you know, that it comes with. Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, man, you know what I mean? Like I say, um, little tweezers or whatnot, need those, right? Even though you might get a splinter or something. But anyways, yeah, so, uh, don't get me wrong, man. I might have been missing something out here, if I'm not mistaken. But if I am, I had to go back and look for you, for, for you guys. Because um, I did, I did come with a lot of stuff, man. And I, but this is what I carry, like I said. This is what I carry. Even when I go to the range, I had this, because you never know, man. Accidents happen, uh, and... It always good for somebody to have this around. I mean, I know some of the range safety officers, they carry these too, but ain't nothing wrong with you having it. Accidental stuff happen, you know what I'm saying? I know we all try to practice uh, safe firearm practice every day, but things can not happen there. It's good for you to have this around, especially when you got kids and you're in a car traveling, anything, just anything can happen. So, good to have this around, right? Time to get to the good stuff. I know y'all wanna see, all right? This is my EDC, my summer EDC mainly. This is what I carry. So, of course, I carry a spare mag. I actually carry two spare mags, and don't talk about me, but me personally, I carry it in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? 15 round. My Glock, Hordeny. Hordeny Critical Defense. Rounds in it. 115 grain. Hollow point. Let's see if I can focus. Uh, probably won't put my face in there, but anywho, so I carry this and I do carry it in my pocket. I know some people don't think like, well, why don't you get a uh, get a uh, a mag pouch? Well, I do get a mag pouch, but it's like a little soft cotton one, and it hurts when I have it <laughs> on my on my gun belt, so I don't uh, I don't carry that. Um, I could get like one of the the Kydex ones or whatever like that, but. I mean, I do just fine with just carrying this, carrying my pocket, even two mags, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I wear my clothes fitted, so I have my magazines a certain way, and then nine times out of 10, if God forbid I ever gotta use my firearm and I gotta reload, I'm probably gonna be behind cover, because, you know what I'm saying? If you haven't, you know, God forbid you ever gotta, if you ever gotta put yourself in a self-defense situation, I don't think that the average person is gonna be running towards that threat, straight to trying to have a shootout with them and trying to use you know, reloads and all that stuff out in the open without getting cover first. Nine times out of 10, when a person got a uh, reload, they gonna probably run for cover first, and then they gonna reload their firearm. So me having all that, don't feel like it's a, ne a necessity to me how I carry whatever like that, you know what I mean? Like I said, y'all can always express how y'all feel in the comment section. I'm willing to take heed and listen to what people gotta say, but that is how I feel. And if you agree with me, hey, drop it in the comment section. If you don't, Tell me why you don't agree. It is what it is. And the next thing I want to show you guys is my Glock 19 Gen 5. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and empty it because it is loaded. It is loaded. All right? 15 rounds. Got to point it in a safe direction. And I am going to drop it. As you guys can see, it dropped out. You know what I mean? So now it's empty. As you guys can see. So, like I say, that was pointing in the same direction as well. I do carry my Glock 19 Gen 5. You know what I'm saying? It's 15 round. Uh, Mac, so this is what I carry. You know what I mean? So, yes, I got carry one in the chamber, one in the pipe. And I also uh, carry two magazines. Two has two spare magazines with me. So, it depends on, okay, I'm going to put it like this. It depends on 
where I'm going. If if I know I'm going to an area where it's kind of hostile or whatever the case may be, where chances are higher for something to happen, then yeah, I carry 15 plus one in the pipe plus the two spare magazines that it comes with. So that's just me, you know what I mean? 46 rounds of ammunition. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is, you know what I mean? You know, I'd rather be, you know, safe than sorry out here. You know, hope, I mean, you shouldn't even have to shoot that many rounds, but I mean, you never know, it's 2021. Just giving y'all the real, the reality of it. Uh, y'all who don't live in high crime areas and y'all might not agree to that, but you carry according to your environment. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I do it. And that's how you guys should do it. Carry according to your environment. If your, if your environment don't require you to carry something like that or carry that many rounds or carry at all, then you make the ultimate decision. But I know how I'm going to carry. You know what I mean? So, yes, I carry my Glock 19 Gen 5. Like I said, uh, I carry this with the ordinary critical defense rounds in it. Uh, these are made if you I looked I looked at the oh, I, I looked at the ballistics ever a little bit because I like to look at you know ballistic videos of uh, uh, stuff that I know I'm gonna be carrying or whatever so I know how it works and uh, these here they made to uh, go through like you know heavy clothing or whatever like that so in the winter time I'm gonna carry it definitely but summertime definitely because you know criminals they like to wear we ain't gonna get all to that but anyways yeah so that's what I carry that. And, um, yeah, and I carry that in my Concealment Express Kydex holster. But the large, it comes with two claws. Now, this Concealment Express, shout out to them because I had some before. They just now came out with these claws, if I'm not mistaken. They just now came out with these. And when they ship them to you, they ship them to you with the large claw, which this is on it. And then they ship them with a smaller claw. I like the large claw because it presses up. Like I say, it helps me conceal my firearm way better. But this Kydex poster from you know Concealment Express, shout out to them. You know, it conceals just got the sweat guard right here on it. You get the option where you don't want. If you don't want the sweat guard, you can get rid of that, whatever like that. But I already got the adjustable cant if you want to adjust it. So this right here, this setup like this works perfect for me and how I carry. And like I say, you barely even tell that I even have it on me when I have it. So, like I say, Glock 19 Gen 5 and the Cadex and the retention. It's beautiful, man. Beautiful retention. So, works just fine. And I carry them on my next belt, gun belt, so you guys can see. Uh, and it is, like I said, y'all, you can look at the reviews on this stuff. I mean, the next belt, it's pretty good gun belt. You know what I mean? Well, for an EDC belt, it, it, it's pretty good. As y'all know, this got the, the uh, what's the name of it? Yeah, it don't have any holes, so it got like more of this. I forgot the name of it. It just does like this for you when you, um, when you uh, putting the belt on. So, and, and it got this little piece right here. So when you wanna see that little lever, just lift it towards yourself and you can, uh, loosen up the belt you know what I'm saying so it works like I say you know it works for me or whatever it holds up my gun it holds up my belt I mean it holds up my firearm pretty good so holds up my pants and my and my gun at the same time really good so it works for me you know what I mean I know they got different belts out here like core centers and all that maybe I'll look into that stuff later but as of right now it works fine just for me right here so Yep, my next belt. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, you know. And it works. So, I'm trying to hold it where you guys can see. Like, it's just the way I'm holding this. So, this not like, the firearm is not like weighing down the belt or anything like that. It's just the way I'm holding it because it's weird for me trying to hold this belt. But, it, it works like I say it don't sag down my pants nothing like that it, it works even better I can just show y'all I can tell you right 
right? That's the purpose of these videos sometimes. I'll just show y'all that and I can tell y'all. So let's put this stuff on. Oh, it's called the rigging. That's what it's called. The rigging system it has. Now that I remember. So, you know what I'm saying? So I can just put this on. Just like so. I put it through the loops or whatever. And then I can just take it because I have appendix carry. Get the holster. You know what I mean? Tighten it up. And then look. I make sure that's adjusted right. And now I'm good to go. See? Now I'm good to go. Oh, that's camera wise. And I know I'm kind of close to the camera, but hey, it is what it is. I'm just showing y'all. And it's comfortable. So I'm able to carry my compact sack lock 19. I'm not like a super big guy or anything like that. 5'11. You know, I'm 205 pounds. I mean, hey, 5'11, 205 pounds. To me, that's medium size or average size for a man, grown man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but no offense to nobody, but anywho, yeah, so I'm just gonna wrap up my EDC video. Like I said, uh, I know I'm trying to get better and better with these videos, man, get y'all more better and better content. Um, so yeah, man. So with that being said, wrapping up this video, hope y'all like what y'all saw. If y'all got any suggestions or anything like that, just drop it in the comment section, man. I'm interacting with everybody. Like I told y'all, man, I'm on a road to 5K, trying to get from 5K subscribers before the summer out. I want to get 10K before the year out, man. I know y'all can help me do it. With that being said, man, stay pro to way, stay proud to carry, and always, always, always carry because you don't know what you need until you need it. So don't never say what you need because you never know what you're going to need until you need it. So with that being said, stay safe. Love y'all. Peace.